biscuit, a tasket, a pocket full of turtles in a basket. Oh, yeah. oh, basket. Malaysian buff turtle. Look at that. Another snake necker. Oh, look at that. I got some. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, well, I also got this. <laughs> Well, hi everybody. Um, fun times today. We've got ourselves a tub that we borrowed from our friends at Bush Wildlife because I need to move the baby turtles. I'm creating a new turtle soup. This enclosure um, is gonna be living here. We're gonna dress it up. We're gonna make it functioning. It's got a nice lid. So all the babies that I've been finding in and around my aquascape ecosystem ponds uh, are gonna be able to live here. It's super healthy, super free. I need to free up the other large tub because winter is coming. And uh, we may need that for the large Batiger and Fly Rivers to keep them warm. Uh, during some of these cold spells. I just like to get, you know, ready. But this is kind of fun. So what I'm doing right now is making my life extremely easy. Uh, we've got some irrigation tubing here. Um, and we're going to tap into an existing line that I have on a timer that feeds the croc monitors and slinky. Uh, we're going to just put a nice long bit of this uh, little tubing and we're gonna tap in, bury it, and we're gonna zip tie it uh, to this lid and basically every few hours, fresh water is gonna pour into this and out drain, whoop de doo it's gonna collect in the low part. Um, but let me show you what I gotta do next. Come on over here. This is kind of where I keep all the, the garbage uh, and unused jungle. tools. Yeah, it's sort of like a, what we call a boneyard of, um, of you know, supplies. So here's what's going on. Here's what we got. Um, here is the tub, of course, you guys remember this area. And uh, we've got a lot of cool baby turtles in here that we're gonna have to find. This is the turtle soup. Uh, but again, like I said, I need this large tub for some of the larger turtles. Um, so we're gonna drain it, we're gonna remove it, and we're gonna collect some of the babies. Uh, we're gonna collect all the babies. I know how many there are. I'm like um, a savant with this stuff. But I did happen to have an interesting little turtle here that we haven't met yet. What is this, this is a cool little turtle. See if you can get that. Uh, it would be Whoa. very difficult for most of you guys to guess what kind of turtle that is, is because he, he is a hybrid. He's a hybrid. He's got the face and markings what? of a, um, he's got the face and markings of a Reeves turtle, and he's got the shell it's of a striking. Japanese like, look wood at, turtle. Isn't that cool? Look at the look tail. At, isn't he cute? Yeah, Wait, he's look got- Look from the top. Hold look it. At this. Hold it. Yeah, right like this. Yeah. You look at that. So I can look at this. Oh, you got to teach me how to <laughs> no, hold the turtle? Just so I can, so I can get a better view and yeah, yeah. adjust his face. So this little oh, dude, man. I actually found in the Aquascape uh, skimmer. And um, I like checking that skimmer because that's where I found most of the, the babies that we're gonna find today. So today's gonna be fun. We're setting up an enclosure. We're finding more baby turtles. We're gonna move them into a better habitat for them that I can keep track of them all. Uh, and we're gonna free up this large enclosure. So that is what we are doing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys to, we're gonna watch this process. We're gonna speed it up a little bit because I think the real fun is gonna be getting in here and and finding all the turtles. Remember, we've got snake necks, we got yellow belly sliders, we got Asian box turtles, we've got a Japonica baby and this hybrid. So we've got quite a few turtles to find. Let's get to the work getting that habitat ready. What's happening? I love this stuff, man. This is fun. Just a simple thing. But it's gonna make life so much easier. So we're gonna start filling this up, right? Good news is, is that if you look over here, they actually had these already plumbed out. So the water will come right out the top there. We got the irrigation in it. So every day for about 20 minutes, fresh water gets put in, it'll overflow. So I really won't have to do many water changes because it's happening systematically throughout the day. 
These were originally used for their baby gators so that kids could get to see little gators at the uh, sanctuary. And these lids are fantastic. Clearly, I'm gonna have to trim these plants down when I shut the lid, but the good news is, is what I really want the plants to do is just add a little cover. We're using them to make it a little bit of a better uh, ecosystem uh, for the turtles. And also we're gonna put some of those ambusia, which is a mosquito fish, a little guppy that eats mosquito larva, and uh, the turtles in turn eat them. I'm really excited to get to see these baby snake necks because there are seven of them in there and I've been noticing when I feed that many of them are getting bigger. So I can't wait till they're big enough that I can put them in our ponds out front. That's the fun thing, graduation day. So these guys are gonna get a more secure habitat. I, in turn, am gonna get a bigger habitat for some of the bigger tortoises and turtles that I need to keep, keep isolated or warm this winter. And this is very simply uh, a very easy thing. You guys can get these tubs at any of your um, you know, uh, farm, garden supply centers, but actually you can find these type of tubs most of the time at a horse feed store. Uh, they're actually used for cows and other livestock to drink out of. So these make great baby turtle enclosures uh, when you set them up this way. We're gonna do a little bit more decorating as well. I, I just, I'm feeling motivated today. I just want this thing to look awesome. So you know what, I've got some extra universal rock. What do you say we get on over there, I cut some off and we put it around here before we go looking for these baby turtles. I think you'll dig it. Well, let's speed it up there, Matthew. And uh, we got to do something fun, which is cut universal rock oh final panel. It's not that fun, but it's easier than working with stone. Here we go. Hi. We're just dialing in our um, water depth. I like that, that the baby turtles can swim. This is still very, um, it turns out it's still extremely, what's the word? What's the word? The word I'm thinking of, uh, shallow enough for these young fellas and girls to get out and do their thing. It was way down here. Before. Yeah, it was, was yeah. really too so low. So now five we're, inches. yeah, we've got a really good vibe here. I'm gonna stick this uh, thing. This looks so good. Yeah, I think that's really good. So yeah. this platform that is underwater. Exactly. The whole platform. Right. Do we want that? We do. The whole platform's fine to be underwater. That's in a shallow area. In fact, when I shut this off, we're gonna we're gonna wind up getting um, you know what I. So we have a couple areas that are above water. Yeah, but you know what? Switch on the log. What I really wanted to do is get that universal rock stuff cut. So yeah, that's what we're it. gonna do right now. You're gonna do the hard stuff while I'm here. I see how. It yeah, is. that's how we have to do it. Yeah. All right, man. Hey, so we cut it, and now we're gonna go ahead. I'm looking for screws with washers that we'll be able to tack it into the uh, tub. And I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Just little touches from some of the things that I have here laying around camp from some of our cool sponsors, like Universal Rocks, will make this tub look awesome. We don't like eyesores, do we? I mean, inside of here is the biggest eyesore I have, I think. And that bone yard and some of the cinder blocks that are laying But we're gonna make it look better. We're gonna make it look awesome. All right, guys. Okay, simple, easy. It's, uh, you know, it's, we're not doing a hardcore detail session here, but I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it's nice, it came this, out. Yeah, this is just simple, right? It's just a simple thing. I still have access to it. We dialed it in quick. It's a little bit better than just a blue tub. So I'm happy. So let's now head over and get some turtles, shall we? We've got a lot to do here. Let's get these turtles out and into their new home. And that is one of the jobs I had to complete. 
because there's always a job here and I like to share my jobs with you and especially one like this that's kind of fun. So uh, let's see. We're just gonna, oh, there's a turtle, there's a turtle. Oh boy, these guys are so quick. You know what I'm gonna do, friends? I gotta get dirty today. I'm gonna be handing Matt turtles. It is so <laughs> flipping hot. It is, this guy, there's two in here already. Yeah. There are two, one of the Asian box turtles. That one with the tail is wild. Yeah. All right, so, so there's gonna, a lot of little guys in here. There are, I'm gonna pull this stuff out. Oh, we got a turtle. Here's a, one of the yellow bellies. We'll just make sure we get off as much of the moss as possible because I'm trying to cut down on that in the new enclosure. So let's pull this out. Hopefully there were none in there. No, there are none in there. Waterlogged enough. So there's literally water. They're not real, out. It's I not know. real wood. No, it's, not. it's not real wood. It's an aquascape uh, fake thing. Get well, over here. Worked well. <laughs> Get over here. We're looking, and I'm going to just start wrapping up some of this stuff making sure there's no turtles in it because oh, i mean you have to check it for good bro because there's well you got good eyes brah if i see one fall out i know how many turtles we have so this this might be a section i'm already surprised i haven't seen one these guys are incredible hiders man they, they stick know. their heads out yeah yeah i'm embracing getting wet because it's so hot look who's checking us out over here who oh. guampa is that low and Let's see. Look at this. You can find turtles in that stuff, so you're right. You've got to be smart. It's going to be an interesting process. I want you to keep an, you're, yeah. you're double checking me. Yeah. Is there someone crawling on me? Nope. You know what else you could do that'll help out? If you go on that side, there's a little um, valve. Yep. You just flip it down. Yeah, it starts to drain. It's a little bit clogged, but here it comes. I'm really excited to see these. Yeah, there's so many there's so turtles many in, here. in here. You don't believe me, people. That's why it's also going to be good to have the smaller. Well, draining it's going to make a huge difference. Yeah. But with all this stuff here, see I'm squeezing it, making sure we don't have turtles in it. You just run your fingers through. It's so crazy how much this ecosystem has changed since we put these in and they were clean tubs. Yeah, yeah. I flew the drone over it that day and they were just bright blue. That's right. And now there's so much green. But the good news is it's a very healthy habitat because this algae is actually very good for the turtles. They hide in it. There's a lot of uh, little organisms in it, invertebrates that we can't see that they're nibbling on. Um, and there was water in, fresh water in, so it pushed all the dirty water out. So it was a really good little system that we had here. So I'm happy with it. I and can't believe just... you haven't found one yet. Ah, not a problem. That one day we were here, we found a few just looking in. I know, well, I should buddy. have thrown, you know, the best way to do this, but I, oh, here we go. Boom. Little Asian box turtle. Look at this guy. All those Asian, oh, oh, do I have something else? All those Asian box turtles. They're so soft on the bottom. They're wow. soft for a few, so first couple of years. That's why they're so vulnerable yeah. um, okay. as juveniles because they just get eaten by everything. So it's really cool that we find them. I found them in the front aquascape ecosystems. So all the Asian box turtles you're seeing, um, all of that hybrid, uh, they all hatched in the ground here. So it's really cool. That is pretty oh. cool. Oh, 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 they're so fast. I saw a head and oh, he got away from me. Luck. Yeah, I, I haven't seen any. I was gonna- No, I saw I a figured snake. I'd be able to reach down and grab a few. This camera's on fire. Let me see what I got here. It's clear it's gonna be these little Asian guys. There's a lot of the snake neck ones in here. There are seven. Couple. They're the seven most, um, I wanna keep this stuff. That's good stuff, that uh, water lettuce. Now, I called this my turtle soup, as you can see, because it's a pretty cool concoction. And to be honest, there's if you set them up like this, I know it's not necessarily the most sightly 
display. But for the baby turtles, it's awesome. Yeah, it's good for it. Yep, totally. It holds a lot of nutrients. Because there's, um, it's a lot less work for me to worry about. And the turtles, it's something called benign neglect. I throw some food in here a couple times a week and let the turtles be turtles. And it just worked out really well. Oh, we got one. Got a snake neck, I think. I believe, I believe, yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this they are so cool to guy. see. And you can feel, look, feel how firm he's getting there, bud. They're oh, yeah, wow. They're oh, growing up look nice. Look at how big the neck is. Isn't that insane? He's got like, one eye, too, that guy. That's the size of my finger. Look at the, that's my hand. Look at how long. Oh, he's awesome, dude. God. I can't wait. What, are you, oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. Are you guys going to be excited to see those turtles actually in the front ponds? This is so... I can't believe how long these are. Every single so time bizarre. I pick one up, I'm like, what? That is so cool. Here, let's see. Let's get this out. Make sure we don't have any turtles clinging to the log. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Up, 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 up. Got another snakey. Another snake necker. Oh. Yes. Look at that. That's so That's cool. so cool. It's getting exciting now, friends. Do they stick their heads out out of, because uh, they don't seem afraid of us at all? Well, they like, don't, they this. can't pull their heads all the way in their shells. So there. their heads are an adaptation for them to catch the type of food. They, they eat craf crawfish, they eat regular fish, they eat all that stuff, and they use that neck to jut it out and catch their prey. Because most of the time their prey are like, well, turtles don't have necks that long, do they? Right. Well, these guys do. Boy, they aren't afraid to use them. That's so cool. I really enjoy playing with those because they're just so surprising. All right, let's see. Can you give me a hand with this? Yeah, yeah. And make sure we have nothing in there. We're gonna just dump it on that side. I'll, uh, you got it? All right, thank you. Now we've got some space. We still have two Malaysian box turtles. We have... Up, we have a snake neck. This is no. a big one. This one's getting big, man. Look at that. That's just so cool. That is, they're awesome. It does not get boring seeing those guys. This is what so I'm talking about. So much moss on the top. The it last time just... we did a video with these guys, you you know, you could go back. It was only a month ago or two, and you could just see they're already have put on some size. Oh my God, he's so big. Yeah. So cool. Look at this guy, and he's so strong. I can't tell you, he's pushing against my fingers so hard. Sorry, buddy, I'll put you down in a second. Look at how big he is. Oh I'm my giving God. a good squeeze to all this stuff. What a beauty. This guy's good. He's huge. How many more total are you thinking? Oh man, let's see, there's two yellow bellies. There's okay. gotta be some in there, it's such a big... We got, well we got three, one. there's four snake necks, two yellow, oh, there's something. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Look at that, how awesome. Good job. Look at this guy. That's, so uh, there's one more Look of those. The I love these guys. They're so pretty, right? I just love the, like the carapace and everything looks so like artistic. That's why so many of these animals have been sought after because they are beautiful. Yeah, relax, relax. Yeah. So, you see something? No, no, you're good. Yeah. You're pretty good at seeing them in that stuff, so I trust you. Oh, yes. Would you guys want to be in this tub right now? All this algae? All these bugs. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would do this kind of work. I'm guessing most of you would if you want to get dirty. I mean, you pull you out one of these snake necks and it makes it all worth it. Sure does. Let me see. There's probably somebody in here. They love hiding near the plants, but I don't yeah, feel. Yeah, by the base. Did we drop this in there? This didn't just pop up. What's that? This plant. No, I dropped it in there. Oh yeah, it's got a. Bag. It's got a bag. I bet there's turtles inside there. I just looked. I didn't see any. There's no way there's not one in that mess. You don't somewhere. think? I don't know. So just get your hands in there, you know? Yep. Dig around in the dirtiest, smelliest portions and you'll find them. That's pretty much where they yeah. live. Yeah, that's what they like. I love These it. guys are so active over here. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Nothing, nothing. False alarm. 
I got something here, though. The minute that I moved the camera away, you got something. I got I something here. Hey, oh, another snake, Nick. What's up? He's a thick little boy. He is thick, dude. God, these are so cool. Oh. Uh, he's got more energy than anything. Come on, in here. We'll be friends. You guys are going to freak out when you see where you're going. Yeah, they're going to be happy. It's going to be so cool. It's a little bit smaller, but they are going to be fine. It's still quite a bit of space for the amount of babies that I have. I keep thinking of Rec Pond. So are we going to take him over there? Who's that? The guy that's in that one. Oh, that's another video. That's for a future yes. video. Man. I haven't gotten over here yet. Oh, hey, look at this. How many of these what do we have got? now? That's another Malaysian. I think that's four, right? If there's four of those, let me know, because then we're at, then we have the correct amount. Let's see, we have one. Oh my God, this guy's a fly. Two, three. We do, we have four of those. Nice. Yep. Four of those, four snake necks. Wow, these guys are active. I'm just pulling this whole thing out. Yeah, the whole thing. yeah they'll give us some more. Hello, more. Oh, oh look, right I, there. Hello. See, that's how we were seeing him before. Like, you could just spot him. See, this guy was nib nubbed out when he was little. <gasps> when he was little. Not He's still right a slow grower. It's almost like the other turtles know this guy was a runt and they just kind of nibbled at him because he hasn't grown as much, but we're keeping him. He's healthy. He's alive. Yeah, he seems thick and healthy. Seems Yeah, dense. Shell's getting uh, He's sperm. strong. He's pushing against my fingers. He's got the will to live. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's slippery. Oh, yeah. that hurt there. my toes. That really hurts. We're looking for one Japonica. I have a feeling that's going to be a difficult one for me to find because my color blindness will come into play because he's colored just like this. So you're going to have to keep an eye out, make sure nobody's scrambling around. But look at this pretty snail shell. That's what's growing up in there. So these guys have a lot of great food to eat. Yep. Which is pretty awesome. Here's a turtle. Got him. A turtle. Another snake? Snake man. We, so we, we're almost there. up to the capacity. There were seven of them. I think this is number six. Yeah. I <clears> think <throat> you're right. Oh, look at what you just threw. Hold on, Dump. Oh, no. No, look at your shoes. Look at your shoes. Oh, they're my shoes. Look, look at this. This is worth looking. Oh. Nice oh. shot. Nailed it. I got it. Oh, well. I also got this. <laughs> how cool is that? Nice. So, guess what? There's Sweet. five of those baby turtles. Okay, yep. And how many snake necks? Hold on. Seven One, two. I can't even count them over here. One, two, three, four, five, six snake necks in here so we far. One more snake neck. <clears throat> two more yellow bellies, and then we have the one baby japonica that I got from Maurice. I would like to just note how warm it is right now. It is so hot. I'm just happy with this muddy water, to be honest. Yeah. It's pretty awesome, dude. All right, well, got the last snake neck, buddy. Sweet. That's the Seven Rock Snake Neck Turtle. Numero seven. Uh, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Hey! Also got. Nice. Hold on. The second. Oh, yeah, little baby. What's this? Hey! And Hoodie. the third. All right. We got one more turtle in here. Look at these guys. Oh, I love these. They're so bright yellow right up front. Uh oh, we got one upside down. Get him up. Yep. There we go. Actually, one of the other ones was just trying to flip him over. How interesting. I think they're just moving around so much yeah. they're scrambling for cover, trying to hide anywhere they can. Put this up here. If my count is correct, seven snake necks. Yeah. Um, hmm. So many I had. Sure all snake necks present and accounted for. All Asian box turtles present and accounted yep. for. One, two, three, four, 
you had only four of the Asian box turtles, right? Uh, that's what it should be. Yeah, yeah one, two, four, three, five. four. I thought four, but I thought for some reason we got five out. Got a little easier when we got half the water out. Yeah. You can see the little tadpole things over here. Well, these are the little guppies. They're little fish. We're going to leave those fish in there because when I eventually do use this for another turtle, we don't want mosquito larvae in here for the big turtle. I mean, not that it would hurt. I just don't want mosquitoes. So these fish actually do a good job of eating all those larvae. And we're having, we have water come in here all the time anyway. It's on a timer. Look, so, at the, look at the algae on the side. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yep. I was just looking at that. That's pretty interesting. So, even if I don't find this Japanese turtle today, it's still plenty of water and hiding and food. He'll be okay for a while. That's why I'm doing this early in the season, while it's still warm, so that we're not in danger. And I could just come over here, throw food in once things calm down. In fact, once the water settles, I'll be able to see a lot. So we may not find the Japanese turtle because to be honest, his coloration is exactly like this muck that I am in. And the, <clears throat> the shells have gotten a little mossy and it helps them yes, hide. Yes, it helps them hide, exactly. Makes it a little more difficult for us to complete this task. But it is fun. But anything. You know, it's surprisingly no. not that gross. Like, it looks <laughs> disgusting, but. Like, it's not. This is not the end of the world. It's, it's uh, just months of decaying right. organic matter. And there is you know, plants and poop and all yes. kinds of good stuff. I am in. You have to remind me whenever I forget. Yeah. yeah. Don't drink this. Definitely not something you want to get in your mouth. But it is nutrient rich, and that's great. That's what a pond is, friends. So how many total? I don't know, have? count them up. Seven, three, four. These guys are so fast. Slow down, slow down. One, two, three, four, five, six. 15, 16. Does that sound right? Yeah. 16. Yeah. Three. You know, look at some of the muck. I know, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah, you, out. you know, um, because maybe it's in your shoe, you know, it could be. I think there's one in his shoe for sure. Yeah, there are five. Okay, ready? A tisket, a tasket, a pocket full of turtles in a basket. Hey, what's up? Uh, so we did well. Uh, didn't find the japonica. I'm gonna let it drain. I'll get on him later. But uh, at the moment, we've got quite the bevy of turtles. Let's get these Asian box turtles in first. I love these little guys. This one's obviously the oldest. There are five of these, which is just incredible. Go ahead and open that, buddy. So five of these, they all hatched in the ground in the front yard. Very, very exciting. These are a very cool species, an aquatic species. Most people think because they're box turtles that they live on land. And that was part of the mistake when these animals were imported many years ago in the 90s, they were imported in great numbers. And basically people thought since it said box turtle that you had to treat them like a North American box turtle, but they started dying because they're very aquatic. They live in rice paddies and shallow bodies of water, slow moving streams. Uh, they will climb around on land, but they are very adept at living in the water. They'll eat a wide variety of fruits, vegetables, insects. So they are true omnivores. And uh, I love them, man. I think they're a fantastic species, very hardy, and they do well here in Florida. And they do well in aquariums when set up properly and given the proper space. So great little turtle. Okay, next up, one of the more popular turtles in the United States, these guys, I, I, I basically, Kate had seen their mom laying eggs. And uh, once I see a turtle laying eggs and I know that they're, uh, they're out there, I just dug them up and incubated them for fun. These are yellow-bellied sliders. These guys have a wide range in North America. They're found uh, all throughout the eastern parts of the country. Um, and they have that beautiful blotch right there. Yep. And to tell that they are yellow bellies right here, you'll always see these two black spots oh, no. and then that, oh, no. that, that post-orbital 
um, yellow, oh, yeah. yellow blotch. Okay. Okay. So the yellow bellied slider, um, beautiful little turtle. They'll go right back into our main pond. You'll notice I'm putting the turtles up on the log. So allow them to take a breath and run out and do what they got to do. Um, so these guys, again, omnivores, uh, they'll lay about five to 10 eggs, uh, depending on the size of the female. And they're just really, really cool species. Like I said, very popular little pet species. And uh, it's a turtle man and I like turtles, so I take care of them. So it's pretty cool. Pretty excited about that. Okay, then we have the hybrid he's going in. This guy's a little so hybrid small. guy. Yeah, he's a tiny little dude, but he'll be fine. And he's going to plunk oh. right in. Whoa, maybe. God. Now, for our snake mix. How cool. They got a lot of algae on them. They are happy dudes, so I'll put them right on this little platform, too. You see? There they go. Oh, you don't fit through there. Wiggy, you hiney. There you go. So they're all looking for cover. And then, of course, just these three left. And uh, very happy that all these guys, I only lost one. I had eight and one died, but the rest are just doing fantastic. And they've been with me over a year. And once you can get them past a certain point as little hatchlings, they're bulletproof. So we uh, got a chore done today, which is very exciting. I love knocking things out. Always a pleasure to have Matt here helping me. We have uh, some scrap universal rock supply that really came in handy. Uh, Bush Wildlife helping me out with one of their tubs that I get to borrow and use. These turtles are all going to grow up uh, and head on out into the front pond. Uh, some of them will find new homes, but uh, in the meantime, I think we learned a lot. We had some fun. We got wet and dirty, and I'm about to get myself cleaned up. And uh, thank you guys, as always, for hanging out with me, doing my chores. Now I have a cool spot for these little guys. We'll just shut this. No birds can get at it, get in at them, and uh, we'll just put a couple of rocks on top of here uh, or latch it down. We can just clamp it down right through there, and uh, no large predators like raccoons or possums can dig around in there for those guys. So, super psyched. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you again on another episode of Camp Cannon, where we'll talk turtles, reptiles, and uh, who knows what else we'll discover. See you guys.